there's a massive difference you can make to your end tackle presentation by simply just balancing your baits. It's a real simple exercise of drilling the bait out, putting a bit of cork in and making it act a lot more natural and light in the water. The carp feed by sucking and blowing, so if you can make the hook bait extremely light, it's going to go a lot further back, giving you a much better chance of hooking the carp. So what you want to do first is take your combi drill. It comes with two different size drills, but the genius thing is they're both in the same handle. So if you want the six mil drill, you're using one side. If you want the eight mil drill, you're going to use the other side. You simply just slot it back into the handle. For this, I'm going to be using the eight mil drill. And you just put the spike into the boilie and don't force it. It's a simple, slow twist. And you'll see the boilie will start to come up the spiral and it's making a, a nice clean incision into the bait where you're then going to place a bit of cork, snip it off and apply it to your rig and it's going to become a balanced bait. It's a really simple process but super effective. So I've drilled out my bait, now I need to take a bit of 8mm cork and the best way to do this is just push the cork in and I like to push it in, see where it's going to go to, and then I mark it with my fingernails. Pull it out and snip off where you want the cork. So there's my bit of cork. I'm going to push that into the bait till it's nice and flush. Some people like it sticking out, I like it absolutely flush with the top of the bait. Then you're going to put your needle through it, and the best way to do this is to put it down on your box and push it through to avoid splitting the bait and you can see it's come straight out the other side and there you've got the cork. Then you're just going to put it on your hair rig. Here I've got a blowback rig with a size 4 beak point hook on it and I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to use the boilie stop that matches the colour of the cork so I'm always matching the hatch on everything. Get me boilie stop, twist it off just apply it to your hair and it's all going to look very neat. And this is going to waft down in the water very slowly. So when you're fishing things like crumb, small bits of particle, and they're all wafting around the carp's head, your hook bait is going to act exactly the same. It's not going to cause any suspicion. And when they suck it in, due to it being balanced, it's going to go right back and give you an excellent hook hold. So why would you use a balanced hook bait? Well, my question to you is why wouldn't you? I've been using balanced hook baits now for probably 20 years. It will stop the hook bait falling between debris and when the fish sucks up on the bottom, your hook bait is the first thing going into the fish's mouth. And the fact that you're using a hook that is heavier than the bait means the hook's going down, the bait's going up, and it's gonna give you a much better hook hold. If I'm fishing a bottom bait, it's balanced. I use them 100% of the time because they're effective and I want to make my hook bait and my rig more effective all the time. It's all about the 1% and this is almost a 2 or 3% on its own. So if you haven't been using balanced hook baits in your fishing, get yourself a combi drill and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Mm -hmm.